Welcome to the Wind Shuttle Connect training. In this first chapter, we will be going through all the steps required to get you quickly started with Wind Shuttle Connect. For a more detailed look at user and license management, be sure to check out the other videos in the series. Before you can start managing licenses and users via Wind Shuttle Connect, you will first need to set up the main administrator account. The designated Wind Shuttle admin will receive an email from connect at windshuttle.com which will include a link to a Connect registration page, which you must visit to complete setting up the admin account. On the registration web page, fill in your personal details and choose a password for your Connect account. This will be the password that you will be using to log in to Connect from now on. Press Save to finish the registration process. The admin account is now ready for use and you can log into your Connect site. Note that this is a one-time process that must be completed before you can start using your Connect account and the registration link will expire once used. You can now start creating Connect accounts for your Windshuttle users. Go to connect.windshuttle.com and log in using the password you selected in the previous step. Once logged in, go to the Users page and click on the Add a User button. First, fill in the email address and personal details of the user you are adding in the User Info section of the page. Then scroll down to the License Management section. We will be looking at License Management in detail later, but you can use the checkboxes and drop down menus here to select a Windshuttle software license that you wish to assign to this new user. The license type selection allows you to choose between limited subscription and permanent licenses in case you have both types of licenses available. Finally, scroll down to the permissions section to assign a role for this user. Role assignment controls which features the user has access to in Connect. Selecting a role is optional and does not affect which features the user has available in the desktop applications. We will have an in-depth look at the roles later in the training. For now, press save to finalize the user account creation. The user account has now been created in Connect. Then, just like with the admin account, the new user will receive an email message with a registration page link, which they must use to complete the registration process. The user must fill in their personal details and select a password on the registration page. This password will be used not only to log into Connect site, but also to activate the Windshuttle desktop products. Once the registration form has been filled in, Pressing the Save button will complete the registration process and the account will be ready to use. The user can now activate the Windshuttle desktop products using their Connect credentials, assuming of course that the admin already assigned a valid software license to the user during the account creation. Once the software has been installed and the user launches the Windshuttle application, they will be prompted to activate the product. This can be done by first clicking on Activate, then selecting Connect as the licensing type and entering the user's email address and Connect password. At this point, the Windshuttle application will connect to the internet and check that the user exists and has a valid software license in Connect. Once the account and license is validated, the application will then launch and the user can start using the product.